What's going on gamers? This is Fantica with 100% Gaming and in today's video I'm going to be covering the best method to make money for brand new players. Now this method does work great for low level players but with a few adjustments and a few extra missions added in when you have a little bit of more money to buy some extra things guys this method becomes really viable for higher level players with a little bit more money as well. And today we're going to be talking about the CEO of VIP missions. Alright guys, before we actually get into it, there's just a few tips and tricks that I think you guys should know to make your experience that little bit easier. First, you guys are going to need a gun. Now I suggest you guys get the mini SMG, it's the one that they have equipped right now. Now what's great about this is you actually don't have any level requirement to unlock this guys, you can unlock it straight from level 1 and it's only $8,900. Guys, you can actually use this weapon while shooting out of a car, which is perfect because while doing Headhunter, you are going to be chasing down some enemies and they can be pretty tough. And guys, if you don't have a SMG like this one, it's going to make it so much harder, but we're picking this one because there is no level requirement. Now, as for a method of transport, guys, there's a few different ways we can go. We can either just steal any random car off the road, but, you know, sometimes they're not so quick. So here, guys, I've picked the LG RH8. Now, it is a pretty old car in Grand Theft Auto. It is from the start. But what's great about this, guys, if you sign up for Rockstar Social Club, you guys actually get this car for free. That's right, guys. So you can get this sick, awesome car here. It's pretty quick. You know, it goes around, it's it's a really good first car in my opinion guys. If you're only level 1 and you can pick up this sport car, I mean that is just amazing. And as you can see here, you can also shoot out of it. So guys, this is going to be a great way to start doing your headhunter and your sightseer missions. Alternatively guys, if you don't want to sign up for Rockstar Games, you can actually find some really cool cars in free roam. Like this one here, Cassie Infernus. Now, it is actually a supercar, so you can be driving around your very own supercar for a little while. Now, you cannot make this your own, but that is perfectly fine. So guys, what's great about the VIP slash CEO missions is not only are they able to do them solo, but also you can do them in an invite-only session. Now, Fantagar, what the hell is an invite-only session? Don't worry, guys, I've got you. In order to get into an invite-only session, guys, you do need to be in single-player. Then you need to go to whatever menu it is to get to the escape, online. And then once you're at online, you'll find a bunch of different options there. You can either join friends or just join online. But guys, you want to go into an invite-only session. That means no one can get into your session unless you physically invite them. Now, what's great about this, guys, is, you know, you can just do it all by yourself. You're not going to have to worry about anyone coming over and destroying you or killing you when you are trying to do your missions. Alright gamers, so there are actually two ways that we can start these missions. First, by being a VIP, or secondly, by being a CEO. Now, if you're going through the VIP route, guys, you only need one prerequisite, and that's to have $50,000 in your bank account. Now, $50,000 in Grand Theft Auto isn't really too hard to gather at all. Guys, all you need to do is do a few contact missions, maybe you'll be invited to a heist, maybe you can sell a few cars, and you'll be well on your way to 50 grand. Just make sure you're not spending your money on silly things like clothing, weapons, all that sort of thing, unless it is the mini SMG, which I suggested earlier in the video. Now guys, the second way that we can actually do these missions is through the CEO, which I actually recommend everybody doing. And here's the reason why, guys. I'm going to leave a video in the description and a caption up the top of the video here. And guys, this is how you can get your first million dollars really, really quick. Now the issue with this is these methods can only be done once per account. Now guys, this is by far the fastest way to get your first million dollars. Depending on your playstyle and your skill, guys, you can get this million dollars in about two to three hours if you just go ahead and follow my guide. Now once you guys have followed that guide, you can actually go ahead and buy the CEO office because you will have more than a million dollars. In order to do that, guys, come down to your phone, go to Money and Services, come down to the Dynasty 8 Executive website, enter the website, and as you can see here, I already own the Maze Bank West. Now, this does cost a million dollars without all the other renovations and stuff, but guys, seriously, this is well worth it. 
because on episode 2, we're going to be utilizing the Maze Bank West to make even more money. And right now, we can sign up to the CEO for free. Alright guys, so once you do own the Maze Bank West, simply go to your interactive menu, come down to Securo Serve, and you guys will have register as a CEO if you have the CEO building, otherwise it will say register as a VIP. Jump in there guys, and boom, you are now the CEO of whatever company you would like to be. And gamers, this is where we want to start making our money. Now we're going to swap between Sightseer, Headhunter, and a few other missions along the way. Sightseer and Headhunter are the two main ones. So guys, we're going to go back into our interaction menu, Securo Serve, VIP, Work. We're going to want to scroll down a little bit. Now there are a heap of different missions. Some will be locked for you as see, I don't have Rocket Mortic, so I cannot complete this mission. Now this is why Headhunter and Sightseer are so perfect guys, because they have no prerequisites and they pay out quite a bit of money each mission. The timers are actually independent of each other, so we're going to start off with Headhunter first. The first thing we want to do guys is we want to check the map and see where everyone is for the best route. So first we're going to come down to the pier so yeah guys if you're not sure about the map so guys if you're not sure about the map set a GPS mark there that'll make it really easy for you guys and always guys when you're doing this mission and sites here make sure you start in the city because these targets will actually spawn in the location where you're at sometimes sites here will take you sort of out of the city you know into Polita Bay it can take you really long to get to which if you're in a car can be a little bit tricky but um yeah guys that's unfortunately just the way that site seal works so whenever you start the mission guys make sure you come back into the city it will make it so much easier for you now guys when we are doing this mission there's always going to be two different targets one target will be driving and the other target will just be stuck at a location now guys, when they're driving, they're always driving on the left hand side. It's always going to be that target, the one that you need to take out, as you can see here. There he is, and he is on the left hand driving side. So we've got to take him out. Now another tip with this mission guys, please get bulletproof tyres. Uh, if they do shoot out your tyres, which it's likely they will, it's going to make this mission so much harder. So yeah guys, get yourself a vehicle of some sort. Hopefully it's one that you own, such as this Elegy. It is the free one, so I really recommend getting this one. But yeah, guys, make sure you put the bulletproof tires on. It does cost 25 grand, so you might need to do a few missions before you can afford it. But guys, seriously, this is really crucial in your progress. Good, there we go, we got it. And in about 11 minutes, that took us about 11 minutes, we got our first $22,000. Now guys, we just completed the first mission, and as you can see, that all the missions are on a timer. Now, it is a 5 minute timer before you can start another mission, so between this time guys, go to the toilet, grab a drink, I don't know, rub a store, or do what I'm going to do right now, and sell a car. Now guys, every 48 minutes we can actually sell one of these cars in real life, not in game. So this one does sell for 9.5 thousand dollars so that's a little bit of extra money given to us in just our downtown waiting for the minutes missions to reset so we're going to come here we're going to sell as you can see there nine point five thousand dollars now this is basically the most expensive basic car you can buy you can find some rare ones around on the map but again they are rare you're not going to find them too often so guys keep an eye out for those ones all right guys the sotsi has come back off the cooldown so we're going to start that right now boom so the first thing we want to do guys is actually pull up our phone and come down to the site see your app here yeah, guys this one's a little bit tricky there are three different ones each mission will give you three different ones here's the first one we actually have to find these numbers and then select it so you got, there we go boom there it was so we had to find the 18 there it is now guys we do actually have to go retrieve the package this mission is as easy as easy can be you know you open up the app you find the package and it tells you exactly where to go that's going to take you to all cool different locations in Los Santos which I reckon for new players is actually really cool as it shows you all the lo all the cool locations that Grand Theft Auto Online has to offer so guys you know you explore the map you get a little bit of money while doing it and it's not too boring at all 
So that's the first package. We do have two more to do. So when I like to get in the vehicle, that's when I like to pull up the app. It saves a little bit of time. Here, guys, you just have to select the red letters here. It's not too hard. It's not too tricky at all. If you do mess it up, it does reset, however. All right, guys, and it's taken us back into the city, which is just what we like. All right, for the final one, data crack, guys. This one's really easy. What we have to do is line up the bar, the, the gap in these lines with the red. Oh, with the red liners. If you mess it up, as you saw there, it just takes you back one. Right, guys, so this one is five miles away. It's a little bit far, except here is a little bit of a mess around here. Now, guys, if it does take you out ages, there are a few ways to get around it. Alright, so if Sightseer decides to take you quite a far way away from the city, there's a few things you can do to make it a little bit quicker. And that is just getting yourself a helicopter. Now, there are a few different methods to doing it. One, you know, just go to an airport and steal it like that. Two guys, come into your Sakura Surf, go to CEO Vehicles, and here guys, as you can see, we can buy the buzzard. Mine is for free because I own one. If you don't own one, guys, it is $25,000. Now the issue with that guys is it is $25,000 and that is quite a lot of money. Alternatively guys, we actually have a contact on our phone called Merriweather. So we want to go to Merriweather here. Merriweather. And we want to get a helicopter pickup. Now it is only $1,000, it's Thank not you. too far. And as the lady just said, a helicopter is on its way. Alright, so he has actually just landed, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull out our gun, and just boom, shoot him in the head. That way, guys, it is now our helicopter that we can use. We're going to pull him out, and yeah, we can actually use this to fly around now. Now, unfortunately, it's not weaponized, so we, it's not going to be any good for Headhunter, but guys, it's a really good way to get sightseeing. It's a good way to get around the map a little bit bit quicker. So we just finished sightseeing, as you can see, all of the missions are on the countdown, except for Headhunter. So that 10 minute timer has finished. That mission did take us about 8 minutes to complete or so, the sightseer. So yeah, guys, you know, you just keep jumping between these two. Eventually, when you get quicker, at it, there will be a little bit of a timer in the middle, you know, a little bit of downtime. But guys, just sell a car, rob a store, you guys will be making money in no time. So guys, of course, jump back into the city. Start Headhunter, check where the targets are, and off you go. So we did manage to do that Headhunter in just five minutes, so there will be another five minute timer to start the site. See ya again. Again guys, this is when we want to go rob a store, or sell a car guys, and this is how you make the money. Alright guys, I'll be back in an hour, and I'll show you just how much money I have made in that hour doing this method. Alright, okay, I'm soft and narrow playing. As you can see, I have actually ended up with 170 grand in my bank. Now, this actually is including any of the money that I've stolen from stores or the money from the two cars that I have sold in the hour long period. Guys, I'm going to put together a little montage for you showing me completing every mission, selling every car, robbing every store, and then at the end, I'm going to show you a little calculation of how I have made all of this money. Alright, guys, let's get to it.
Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed that montage as much as I liked creating it. Now we're going to take a quick little look at the total cash earned. Now during Sightseer guys, I did do 5 different missions. They all pay out a different amount depending on how long it took you and I got 111 grand from that. And for Headhunter guys, I did complete 4 missions within the hour. Now the payouts again do change depending on how long it took you to get them, but in total guys I got a total of $89,000. So as you can see here guys, by just doing Sightseer and Headhunter, we have made over 200 grand. Now gamers, let's take a real quick look at the stores and the cars I was able to sell during my downtime between these missions. So within the hour guys, I was able to sell two cars. They were both the Land Party Felons, so they did value at 9500 each with a total of $18,000 and the stores averaged out at about $2,000 each so six stores at $2,000 is $12,000 and taking a look at our final grand total guys we we're able to make just a little bit over $230,000 by completing five sightseeing missions we got $1,150,000 Two cars sold, total of 18,000. Now this will change, you can only sell a car every 48 minutes. So the first hour long I was lucky I could sell two. The second hour you're only going to be able to sell one. So guys, take that as it is. Now though I was able to complete five sightseeing missions, I was only able to complete four headhunter missions. Which doesn't matter guys, but we didn't complete as much missions so we got a little bit less money in that area there. As a total, guys, for completing the four missions, we got $89,000. Not too bad at all. And our last thing to total up is the stores that we robbed in our downtime. Guys, I was able to rob six stores for a total of around $12,000. This will change. The stores do give you different amounts of money every time you rob them. On average, guys, I got $2,000 per store, totaling us up to $12,000. Now guys, we're going to take a look at the grand total, and we have just over $230,000 in Grand Theft Auto Online. Not bad for your first or possibly second hour in Grand Theft Auto Online. Alright now gamers, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a like as it really helps out a small channel like mine. But... If it's helped you guys, make sure to do, 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 subscribe for more future Grand Theft Auto Online videos. See you in the next one, guys.